I'm Jeff Chandler, and welcome to another edition of Fire Engineering Training Minutes. In today's segment, we're going to talk about a hazmat scenario where the two team members that are on the interior hot zone, one of them experiences a medical or a trauma emergency, and his partner needs to expeditely remove him from that environment. One option that you have available to you is to bring with you the tools that you would normally be carrying with you if you were operating as a firefighter with turnout gear and pockets. We have this rescue bucket. Attached to the outside, we have removable wedges that you can use to hold doors open in the event of a hasty exit. In the interior, we have some quick decon equipment in the event that there's a suit failure and there's a chemical exposure, you can quickly decon your partner's skin. Quickly accessible shears for cutting a suit in the event that you need to connect to your buddy breather hoses and you're operating in high B or, low, or level A suits and you need to share your air. Additionally, I have more chem tape. One of the most important features is a real quick two to one, which we'll demonstrate in the upcoming segment. And we also have options of webbing for slinging your partner to make for a hasty exit. To be a put on prior to your entry, if you're wearing a suit and there's gonna be a need to kneel, we do not kneel when we're wearing plastic, so everybody's issued a pair of knee pads to put over the top of their suit to protect their suit fabric while they're operating within the hot zone. Additionally, on the exterior of the bucket, we have tape set up so that it still maintains its adhesiveness and you have the ability when you cut a suit for the purposes of accessing for patient decon or for the purpose of connecting air connections that you can tape up the suit real quickly to limit the amount of chemical airborne exposure that your other partner might be exposed to. Our hazmat technicians are in the hot zone assessing the cylinder that's inside of this overseas container and one of them experiences a medical emergency that makes him non-ambulatory. The other member transmits a mayday and also gives a lunar. We're not going to wait for the RIT team to arrive, who is now currently dressed to the waist in the cold zone. We're going to begin our patient removal. So he takes the long piece of webbing that's inside of the rescue back, loops it around the top side of the cylinder and comes up between the legs of the downed responder. He'll do a half hitch off the front shoulder strap and then bring it up through the back of the, bring a bite through the back of the shoulder straps and then finish it with a girth hitch. The two to one mechanical advantage is already pre-wrecked. He slings it over his shoulder and uses himself as the anchor. Now he's gonna extend it as far as he can go, which is about a 10 foot pull. And then he's gonna begin the removal process. As he backs up, this is self-extending. At this point, the RIT team is now coming in, and when they arrive, they'll relieve him of his duties and send him off to the decon line. Or he can continue to assist in the patient removal if he still has sufficient air available to him. Thank you for watching another episode of Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I want to thank the Guilford Fire Department hazmat technicians for assisting in this. Stay safe.